2010 17-inch MacBook Pro trackpad replacement. Go ahead and start by removing the seven short Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook clockwise. Now remove the three long Phillips head screws. By removing these ten screws the panel should now come free. Lift and remove the cover. Battery removal. Start off by disconnecting the battery. Pull on the lever and pry it out of its socket. Remove the three tri-wing screws that are holding down the battery. Now pry back the tape that's hooked up to the speaker. This might be a little hard. Lift and remove the battery. Trackpad removal. Go ahead and start peeling back the piece of black tape that's hiding the trackpad chip. Start at the bottom left corner and just pry it out. This might take a little bit of time. Once that's removed, go ahead and remove the small piece of white void tape. Gently get tweezers underneath or your fingernails and pry it out. Make sure to do it slowly as you can tear the connection latch. Go ahead and lift up the eyelash that's guarding the connection to the chip. Slide your tweezers underneath gently because there are chips underneath that portion of the cable. Make sure to gently slide it in, not pushing anything. Once you get the tweezers all the way underneath, go ahead and pull up on them and that should release it. As you can see on the back here, there are chips. Go ahead and remove the six Phillips head screws that are guarding the trackpad, three on each side. You could just place those screws right in the case. Open the MacBook slightly at about a 35 degree angle and push on the trackpad. It should come right out. There's dirt all alongside of the trackpad. This might be causing clicking issues and sending false signals. Go ahead and clean it with a brush and any cleaner. Windex, alcohol, or such should work just fine. Make sure to thoroughly clean it as in this video I just go over the technique. Also clean the case as well where the trackpad sits. Trackpad reinstallation. Lift up the case and insert the trackpad in feet first. Now push it up and gently push down and close the laptop. Go ahead reattach the six Phillips head screws, three on each corner of the trackpad. You can now reconnect the trackpad to the trackpad cable. Gently pry it inside and then press down on the glue. Now go ahead and close the eyelash. Be careful, do this slowly as if you do it fast you can break the eyelash. Go ahead and put the void tape back on. This is optional. Place the black protector tape back with the adhesive that's left. It's okay because the battery is going to go over the top. Battery reinstallation. Insert the battery in at an angle bottom first and drop it into its socket. Reinstall the three tri-wing screws. One on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. 
corner. Reconnect the battery. This might be a little tricky. Uh, try to get underneath and get a better viewing angle at the socket. Go ahead and just push that in. Make sure it's firmly in. Reinstall the cover. Reinstall three long Phillips head screws first, starting in the top right and going leftwards. Now the seven short Phillips head screws starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. flip the MacBook over, it's optional to perform an SMC reset. 